So in this problem, we're told that a sample of radioactive substance decayed to 91.5% of its original amount after a year. And we're asked, what is the half-life of the substance, and how long would it take the sample to decay to 75% of its original amount? So in order to solve this, there's a formula that you need to know. Y is equal to 0.5 to the T over K. And so Y is going to be uh, our new amount, T is going to be time, and K is going to be the half-life. So they're asking us for the half-life, so basically what we're going to solve for is K. So let's plug in what they give us though. So they tell us that it's decayed to 91.5%. So Y we're going to write as uh, 0.915. And so the percentage they want to give you, you just want to put a decimal out front, and it's going to be your Y, is equal to 0.5 to the T. And so how much time has passed for it to get to 91.5%? It's been a year, so one year. So T is going to be one. And then we don't know K, that's what they're asking us for. So what we're going to do is solve for K. So now we've got 0.915 is equal to 0.5 to the 1 over k. So in order to solve for it, what we should do is take the natural log of both sides. So if we go ahead and do that, we have the ln of 0.915 is equal to the ln of 0.5 to the 1 over k. And if you have the ln of a number raised to another number, you can just move it out front. So instead of having ln of 0.5 to the 1 over k, we can rewrite it as 1 over k times the ln of 0.5. And then we're trying to solve for k, so if we multiply both sides by k, because it's 1 over k, we'll get k times the ln of 0.915 is equal to the ln of 0.5. And then now we got to just divide by the ln of 0.915 to get k by itself. So k is going to be equal to the ln of 0.5 divided by the ln of 0.915. So if you go ahead and do that in your calculator, the ln of 0.5 divided by the ln of 0.915. That's going to be equal to 7.802968. It's asking us to round to the second decimal place. So if we go ahead and do that, this is just going to become 7.80. So I'm going to erase what we have on screen now, and then I write my answer up there, and we'll solve the second one. So this is going to be equal to 7.80. And then now we're asked, uh, how long would it take the sample to decay to 75% of its original amount? So remember our formula, y equals 0.5 raised to the t over k. And so y is going to be equal to uh, our new amount, but we want to put the decimal in front of it. So it's going to be 0 0.75 is equal to 0.5 to the t. Well, we don't know what t is. They're asking us how long. So that's what we're going to solve for, t over our half-life. And so our half-life is, we found it in the last question, 7.80. And so what we want to do is just solve for t now. So we can do it like the last problem by taking the natural log of both sides. So the ln of 0.75 is equal to the ln of 0.5 raised to the t over 7.80. But since we have the ln of a number raised to another number, we can just move it out front. So this is just going to become t to the or t over 7.80 times the ln of 0.5. And we're going to try and get t by itself. So we should multiply both sides by 7.80. That's going to cancel with that. We'll get 7.80 times the ln of 0.75 is equal to t times the ln of 0.5. Then if we want to get t by itself, we should divide both sides by the ln of 0.5. And so t is going to be equal to 7.80 times the ln of 0.75 divided by the ln of 0.5. So if we go ahead and plug that in our calculator, 7.80 times the ln of 0.75 divided by the ln of 0.5 is going to be equal to 3.23729 and then so on. But they're asking us to find it at the second, or round to the second decimal point. So this is going to become 3.24 because this is going to make the four or the three roundup. So the answer to B is going to be 3.24. And so 7.80 and 3.24 are going to be the answers to this question.